substance painter and designer do not perform the same functions. Now, this is a video made by a popular request. I'm not a heavy substance designer user, right? The last time I tried making my own materials, didn't turn out good. Painter, yeah. Once in a while, I do paint my own personal project and so the good price point 3D coat and marmoset offers is just okay for me. Although Painter is my number one, I still had to drop it this year. I'm not having it with Adobe anymore. But before we get into our video, I'll tell you why I checked out of Adobe's 3D environment. I knew at some point my freelance was going to be affected because Adobe processes are too long, too many signups payments, bugs in bridges, bugs in teamworks, and a whole lot. And I was ready for that the moment Adobe took over Allegorithmic. And so, as smart as I was, I decided to stay on Painter 2022 to avoid further drama. Along the way, I thought, why not update, right? It's been long, a year or two. It should be stable by now. Also, I thought I might be missing out on some new cool features, so I decided to update and that was when I realized my teamwork had been really affected because the other dudes I worked with were still on 2022, very stable and still perpetual and so they wouldn't move. Now I was the guy stuck with the bags working in and out of 2022 and 2024. The price bump was also another issue for me. Not that it was expensive, but just that I didn't like what these companies are doing these days. I don't know about other freelancers, but this particular Adobe move for me was wicked. I need a little bit help in the comment section. I'll pin it to the top comment if anybody is able to give me better clarifications on that. And this is it. If you've got detailed info on Painter and Designer's last version on Perpetual versus its latest subscription versions, I would like you to write up if it's necessary you update to subscription if you've still not updated yet. And if not, what you miss out. Also, let us know the prices you get for Steam, how it works and also if Steam is okay because I heard Steam wouldn't be getting any more updates moving forward. But I wasn't ready to search up all those info. I've had enough with Adobe. I wouldn't mention any of that, so kindly do me that favor explaining that in my comment sections below if you have those infos intact. Okay, Adobe Substance Designer versus Painter. For better clarity, let's begin with Designer. Designer is a tool for creating complex algorithmic PBR materials. Let me explain. PBR texturing is basically a technique that helps 3D artists make their 3D render look more realistic. This technique details the life out of your 3D object by using key components like shaders, texture maps, and advanced rendering techniques. What makes PBR so powerful is that it's grounded in the laws of physics and it ensures every reflection, shadow, highlight behaves just as it would in real world. Okay, back to designer. Designer is solely meant to create meshes and materials. As simple as that. For those of you considering between Instamart and designer, well, that would actually depend on the kind of deliveries you do. Freelancers and people working on personal projects might not have issues with Instamart, but on a more professional level, placing Instamart side by side with Designer exposes Instamart to some low levels with quality. Same with Quixel Mixer. Designer on an industrial level for now has no competitor. The only thing that makes Designer worst for me now is the fact that Algorithmic handed it over to Adobe. Yeah, Substance Designer is the main go-to in all early stages of asset creation in the VFX world. Talk of all the big movies and big games. It's widely used in softwares like Maya, Unreal Engine, Unity, and 3D's Max for generating high-quality, customizable textures. People who excel at creating procedural textures using notes in designer are typically not the same individuals who enjoy modeling or painting a mesh. 
these are different groups of people so you better know where you fit when you browse through art station one thing you come to realize is that texturing is a whole profession on its own and so we have people who specialize in building materials from the ground up for texture artists who solely major on crafting complex textures rather than modeling or painting sometimes you come across some texture works and your jaw drops yeah these are artists who build from the ground up using designer and then finish either in mari or painter designer is immensely powerful but the match it comes with is what drives people away and i personally would categorize or consider that to be a downside since you actually don't get a very well-rounded absolute beginners tutorial on youtube you could find a couple of beginner tutorials on their substance um youtube page but i feel it it doesn't do a better job of tackling certain areas that i personally would have cherished if you know of any good designer artist on youtube kindly you leave a link to his channel in the comment sections below and i would really appreciate it designer's workflow is node based and a bit complex and so in order to hop on it as a complete or absolute beginner you have to take a course to either get the basics or master it i think it's amongst the few softwares you just can't pick up and start working right away in it you need an expert to guide you through particularly in mastering the complex node based workflow whilst the software itself isn't necessarily difficult after you get the basics it still requires you to give a lot or pay close attention to it you need to be able to visualize the complicated networks of nodes necessary to achieve your desired outcome if you are not inclined towards math and complex logic and your goal is to simply paint 3d models directly then designer might not be of need to you you can focus more on tools that allows for more hand-on texturing and painting since designer is heavily oriented towards procedural generation and so designer would let's say be the room in which base raw materials are developed before transporting into a texturing software in conclusion we don't texture in substance designer its main work is to simply build materials these materials are then carried into what most people are familiar with which is a texturing software there are a couple of great softwares out there for texturing but let's focus on substance painter now all painter does is simply apply textures layers and paint to models and so we could categorize painter into a more of a finishing program this is what painter does it imports models made in other programs like blender maya 3d max houdini cinema 4d then you again import materials either downloaded or made in designer after importing them into painter you apply the materials to the models you can see painter as a way to texture your designs with greater depth and details taking single models to the next level as far as texturing is concerned it's really what it says instead of just grabbing materials and placing them on polygons you paint on the model to give it a more intricate look usually if you are texturing you would create materials and assign it to parts of the model let's take a kettle as an example you would put wood or plastic on the handle and then make the body of the kettle metal now inside of painter you can add fingerprints and dirt to the handle edgeways on the metal body maybe some bends or tiny scratches paint roughness into some part paint displacements into others after that painter exports a hero texture a texture made to be applied to your model uv map in another software and that's it the texture you assign to your model comes with diffuse reflection roughness height and any other map you want and then you can render it now this is my final take for material generation you can look into instamat or quixel as an alternative to substance designer 
and then for texturing you have painter and mari seated at the top and it's alternative you can consider 3d coat on mamo set there as well hope you liked it kindly don't forget to subscribe like share until my next video peace out